See, I was 10, and I s celebrated uh, my 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th birthday in camp. 11th, 11th birthday in you know, Santa Anita, and the rest was in Poston. So most of the fathers in Coronado, I don't know, quite a few in San Diego probably, in fact, they were all taken away. But I, I don't know if that was right after the war started or not, but anyway, I was at the Takesha's house when they took Mr. Takeshita away. I remember when they took him away, so they told me, you had better go home, you know, because I said, so, so. Uh, Takeshita lived, like I said, by the golf course, and I had to pedal all the way to uh, Fourth, you know, and Jay, which is close to North Island. Well, by the time I got home, my father was already gone, so. So I didn't see him again until mid-1945 in Poston. I do remember we could only take what we could carry. So I took my little shopping bag and, of course, put my toys and candy and stuff in there, and that was it. I know one thing, we were given a catalog. It was at Montgomery Ward Sears. Went there once together, and we were picked out our clothes. I heard that we were going to, they said that we were going to go to cold country, well, wherever it was, Heart Mountain or Mandalay. It's supposed to be cold. So we wore, bought, you know, they told us to buy, get these big heavy pea coats, jackets, you know, and heavy boots and stuff. So we got off the train, it was 120 degrees out there in Parker, Arizona. <laughs> but I remember going through Parker. That was interesting, you know, on a truck. And there were signs on the Parker window that said, Japs, keep out, you know. You know, it's like, oh. I guess they knew we were coming. <laughs> well, I guess Camp 1, 2, and 3 were already there, so.